We woke him up. Yes. All right. He seems awful. Welcome sus. back. He's, he's like, he was like snoozing. Now he's awake. Are we sure he's the same person? He was like, he might be the imposter. Could be the imposter. Could be. Never know. But He doesn't, doesn't okay. play um, that game, I don't think. So, um, like he said, so. I haven't played Among Us in two weeks or maybe three. I don't know when the last time was. I just don't go in and play with everybody else. It's you know, been too like, long. Yeah, it's been yeah, one. I mean, I've been tempted to go in there, but they'll be playing with strangers. I don't know. It's like, well, it's fun, but. You know, hey, you, you want to play with friends here. When you, you know, play with strangers, play... remember? Well, say again? Remember the pictures I showed you from playing with strangers? Yeah. That happens. Yeah, you know, I'd rather play with friends than if it's the strangers, you know? Of course, the strangers come in and they're, they're, you know, they're there, you know? But at least you have your friends in there with you, you know? Yeah. Well, sometimes strangers can just be friends you haven't met yet. Could be. Can be. Until they kill you. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. That'd be kind of creepy. I mean, you, know, you make a best friend and among us, and they always kill you, and they one day want to meet you in real life. It's like, well, hmm. <laughs> hey, really, nice. really want to do that. I mean, let's go out to dinner. I don't know about that. Um, hmm, I have a bad feeling about this. You know? They're perfectly I mean, safe and normal. Steak dinner in the restaurant has knives, you know, big steak knives. It's like, are we sure? You know, want to go? Yeah, I, I wouldn't want to. It'd be like kind of sus to me. Very sus. I don't play games. Okay? I don't play games as much as I used to. Um, for some reason, I guess I'm too busy doing stuff, seeing times, I guess. I do have a Shrek game, Shrek and um, Over the Hedge. That's a uh, like a joystick controller, and it's mm -hmm. down there. Um, I should get it to show you all. Um, just a second. And, uh, yeah. Have you been playing any games lately, Twinkles? Um, yes. Which I've been one? playing a game called Neverwinter. Oh, yeah, Neverwinter. How is that? Neverwinter. Neverwinter? That doesn't sound good. Oh. What are you talking about now, Neverwinter? Oh my gosh. It never gets cold. Dang. That sounds like, um, um it's actually like hell. <laughs> It's an MMO. Like, what, what game do you like, Jack Frost? Um, Neverwinter. What? I'm just kidding. I've never played it, so I don't know what even what it looks like. Uh, but yeah, that'd be like the anti-Jack Frost thing. Like, what game do you like? Anti-Winter? <gasps> wow. Um, I'm going to show you this. Um, it's uh, never been played, actually. It's uh, Shrek. It's got a, like, a, a joystick on it. Okay, mm -hmm. takes batteries, but hey, it's got um, over the hedge on it, over the hedge, the, you know, over the hedge. So um, made by um, TV Games. Okay, and let's see, TV Games, Over the Hedge, DreamWorks Animation. Yeah, DreamWorks. I, I love DreamWorks Animation. Uh, they made a, uh, a movie that um, I like, Rise of the Guardians. Yeah, all right. Um, but yeah, it has over. There's a bonus game over the hedge, which I'm going to play that sometime. Um, looks like there's a like a maze or something to go through. So we're going to do that. Um, yeah, sometime. Hell, maybe tomorrow. And then I got an old game from the antique store called Pong, where you got like a two paddles here, and you got like a net in the middle. You like a ball goes back back and forth. You're supposed to like you play the computer, hit the ball back and forth. Yeah, Pong. Yeah, it's really old. The Radio Shack Pong. And yes, it's been open before, so I can safely open it without going, I just ruined a $1,000 game. Um, yeah, so anyway, I'll 
put this back to where everybody can see everybody. There we go. Yeah, what do you think about that, that Shrek, the uh, Overhead and Shrek game? What do y'all think about that? Never winter at the North Pole. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, it's always winter at the North Pole. Yeah, it's always winter at the North Pole. The South Pole, too. Um, what do you think about that game? The Shrek and the um, Over the Hedge. It's like a little maze you can go through. And so, can you hear me? I can hear you. I was letting Kat speak first, but I know she was trying to talk about another game first, so I don't know if she just... I didn't hear any... I couldn't hear any of her speaking at all. Was... Yeah, she was her actually trying to talk about a game called Neverwinter. Well, her microphone is uh, muted here. Yeah, she muted herself when you started talking, when she was talking. Yeah, you didn't, didn't hear that. Yeah. I thought she was like done or something. Mm -mm. She just started talking. As soon as she oh. tried to start talking, you kind of. Oh, go ahead then. I'm sorry. I didn't hear you because I came back and. Oh yeah, you go ahead and talk about your 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 game. The Neverwinter okay. game. Um, Neverwinter is a a free game that you can download. Um. It, it it seems to be very quest oriented, and you have to kill a lot of monsters in it. It's also multiplayer. That sounds good. Well, I think it's a free MMO. Is it technically an RPG game? And you said you're playing as an elf, right? With a horse. Did we lose you, Twinkles? Mm-hmm. I'm a forest elf and an archer. Um, I have a horse to talk to. You might want to try going to sell it here. Yeah, you kind of broke up so we can understand.
Is it okay if I exit the screen? Okay. Now? Hey, uh, just please have a wonderful night. Try to stay safe and try to talk to you later. And hopefully, can we schedule another game night? That'd be good. You have a good night there. Sure. Enjoyed your violin playing. It was good. Mm -hmm. And I can't wait to see you post more Yeah. about it. Oh, and tell all those ghosts to stay away. Can I turn the snow there? Um, not here, no, not the moment. Um, because I'm here. This Why is my, um, oh, wait, there you go. The mouse was dead. I thought I might have to eat it. We're like, what's up? But yeah, she played really good. Twinkles played really good violin. It's, it's the sound really good. What's your level of cringiness, I guess, would be the correct answer. Yeah. It was good, though. It was really good. I enjoyed it. Mm -hmm. I just wish we didn't have all the audio distortions. Yeah. Welcome to the live stream, Kat. Thank you for joining us on the YouTube channel. Hey, Twinkles. Here, you're playing is really good. I can't wait to hear more, more of it when you make more videos. Yeah, that'll be really good. I showed this uh, game, the controller, the little mm -hmm. maze that goes with over the hedge, which I love. One of my favorite videos is like uh, over the hedge, you know. So, yes. um, uh, did you ever see the movie? Well, of course, it's a, a movie over the hedge. Yeah, I, I like mm -hmm. it. Um, it's really neat. Um, and talking animals, of course, that's a thing to watch. So, yeah, I enjoyed it. And then this video game, it's like, well, I've never played that game. Of course, it's probably like a flat maze where you have to go through and get stuff. Um, yeah, it's like, uh, not going to be no 3D or something, that's for sure. It's just a $29 game or something, or however much it cost before when I bought it. Maybe $19, maybe it got on sale for 5 I'm not sure how much I got. But yeah, it looked, when I saw Over the Hedge on the box, I'm like, yeah, let's get that. <laughs> you should play it sometime. Yeah, we say hi to Billy Dot W. Haven't seen you in a, a while there. Welcome to the early morning stream. Yeah, welcome to the morning stream. Been interesting. We had uh, Wrinkles was on. She had a, and... Mandela effect. The time change where she went back in the time. Mm -hmm. Went back in time like fifteen minutes today, and also she got a violin for her birthday, and now after that. Mandela effect that she witnessed um, because she saw time go backwards. Um, one minute her phone said something like 9.15 a.m. and then the next moment she looked at her phone and said 8.57 uh, 8 a.m. or something like that. She went back and then she noticed also today her violin that she got for her birthday yesterday now looks different. It's got some holes in it that weren't there before. I mean, wow. You know, it's got some different features that weren't there, like a big curved area on it. And Yeah, it's... Um, 
a live Mandela effect that she told us about it happened to her just today. So you might want to go back and hear that and watch that when the stream's over with, because uh, I'll, com I'll be com you know, compiling stuff and uh, you can watch that. But yeah, how you been doing? What's new with you? And you should join the YouTube server if you're into the Mandela effect at all. Which time or am I? Um, it says I'm at 4.45 a.m. here, but that's not right. Um, I got my... Uh, that's really wrong. Yeah, it's really wrong. Um, that's why I... Close the app. I'll be like that. Um, I'm not sure what time it is. So... It's after 12, I know that much. I think, maybe. I'm watching on Sloppy Joe's. And I, it's 11.46 there. It's 11.46? Yeah, I just got to cook yeah. Sloppy Joe's. I got some beef and some cheese and some buns. and make some a good Sloppy Joe's tonight sometime. You know, maybe after 12. Maybe for supper. Billy W says, I don't post on this account anymore. Sadly, just switched a new one. Great to see you. All right, great to see you too. Yeah, what's new in your life? And are you um, growing on YouTube or... I haven't seen you in a while. How's your walk with Jesus? And have you seen the Mandela effect? You've seen the changes, the Bible changes, like um, what animal lies done with the uh, lamb in the uh, Old Testament. Uh, you know, many people will say it's the lion, but now it says wolf. And if you see the changes, I don't remember if you saw the changes or not, but if you remember, if you remember it being the, uh, the lion, you're correct, it was, but now, every Bible on the planet says wolf instead of the old documents, but there's many documents that say from the 1800s that it used to be lion, L-I-O-N. Um, so, yeah, the uh, Bible changes are real. Mandela effects are real. We've seen a lot of... Uh, I saw Chick-fil-A change. My mom saw Chick-fil-A change from CHIC to CHICK. Uh, and my friends didn't remember it being CHIC. They always said it was CHICK, which was, like, mind-blowing. You know, so, yeah. A lot of stuff's happened since uh, 7 20, 2020 when I arrived here. Yeah. Um, anyway, hope you're doing well. Billy.w. I believe his account was growing at one time. Maybe he still is. Uh, I believe he had over a thousand subs at one time when I last saw him. I uh, might be going upwards. I'm not really sure. I haven't watched in a while. You've been sticking to TikTok now. YouTube is a lot of work. Waiting until I have more time. Yeah, it does get... I haven't been on TikTok, but I watched a few videos there. But those are like short videos. I like to make long ones. Um, do like sort of long videos on TikTok also. Um, but yeah, it's a, uh, I haven't done anything with that server yet. Video server. But yeah, it is a somewhat of a work to do on YouTube. I don't post too many videos anymore either here. Maybe one a month, once every two weeks. I did post one yesterday. You might want to watch that one about what's coming up on the earth. You know, uh, you might you might want to see it. Yeah, I post it. It was posted today. It's an hour and uh, 15 minutes long. So when you got the time, you can uh, watch that one. I do talk about um, you know, things that are like um, happening and stuff on the world. I do countdown videos now. Usually scary videos. Um, I, I need to see those. I haven't watched those yet. I do mostly Mandela Effect videos. And uh, hey, guess what? Remember I told you that I was going to turn myself into a cartoon? Remember that? I think I told you that. You finally did it. Right? Um, well, hey. Do I look like a, uh, I finally did it. Yeah. I finally did it. Yeah. I mean, like, yeah, it was like cool. Um, so now if I want to go and put the, uh, that, uh, furry head on, I can be like a, a cartoon and that also, which I have not tried yet. I've only gotten this far yesterday. So yeah, we're right here now. I yeah, watched my video I posted yesterday. Actually, yeah. Uh, uh, earlier today. Just to warn you, it's an hour long. Yeah, hour and 16, hour and nine minutes long. But I tell what's coming. I tell the Mandela effect. I tell some things that are happening in the world. 
And if you have eyes to see, you can see it. You know what's happening. I think you joined Maybe. my server one time. I'm not sure. Maybe you did. Maybe Ilo did you? I, you were on some server. Um, they're still there or not? On Discord, um, I'm not sure. If not, you haven't been there a long time. A private chat. Let's see the private chat. Oh yeah. No. How about this, the comments. Right there we go. I do count as chronicle crap countdowns. I actually collaborate with many famous, famous creators now that do the same thing I do. Nice. Congratulations. Yes. Yes, indeed. And whatever you do, um, put Jesus first. Put Jesus first, and he'll lead you in whatever you're doing. I don't know what you're doing. I haven't seen your videos left. Let's check them out. In your new videos you've been you've been making, apparently. So yeah. There's been a lot of stuff happen. Um, like I said, Chick-fil-A changed. I prayed. Actually, I did pray for God to change it. I didn't bargain on the fact that my friends wouldn't remember that it changed. Um, let's see. I may have told you this before, but um, I was cleaning out my mom's car, and there was an old uh, Chick-fil-A straw and an old Chick-fil-A uh, drink holder. Oh, my nettle. Okay, and it said uh, C-H-I-C-F-I-L-A. And I said to myself out loud when I was cleaning the cross, and I said, uh, dang it, there's another Chick-fil-A with a C because I remember it being C-H-I-C-K at one time myself, actually. I took that and threw it in the rubbish bin, got rid of it. And the next day I woke up and found a uh, Chick-fil-A cow. And I found this in like C-H-I-C-K. I'm like, wait a minute. I have proof that the Mandela effect is real and that it's changed. And here's here's a something with the K on it. So I posted that, and all my friends said, "No, Jack, it's always been C H I C K." I'm like, "What? Don't you remember us talking about this? You know, just a few days ago and a month ago, and it was it was C H I C, and you all vowed that it was not ever C H I C K." They said, "No, no, it's always been C H I K, C H I C K." And so I went down, made a video on 07 20, 2020 about the Chick Fil A calls. I was like, "Whoa, it's changed. The logo's changed on the building." It's now CHICK. I made a video of that on 07 2023. You might want to check it out. Um, and so, yeah, there's all kinds of theories as to what's happening. And um, it's a Mandela effect. It's real. My mom saw it. Uh, my friends saw it, but didn't see it. A lot of them. So, yeah. Um, there's doppelgangers, too. You see that there's like another you that was here before you were here posting stuff because I found that. I found that I said that it changed long ago. It didn't. And my other friend, I had a friend also. In, chat that said yeah jack it's like you went through it twice it's, it's like you because when, when we met you said it changed long ago for you to chick i was like no way that's i just found it. that friend told me that the other day i was like no way because when he first met it was chic for me so yeah it's um it's the uh, mandela effect it's real um so we've been studying it and observing it and being affected by it and it's a sign jesus christ is coming back basically speaking Here's stuff. Let's see. You got 133,000 um, viewers, subscribers. That's amazing. That's a whole lot. I have a. Uh, I have 180. Sorry, that'd be bad. I have a. I have a 389 subs at the moment, and I lost one today, and I lost two the other day, and last week I lost one. I used to have three 395. So we've like lost um, subs, but hey. Um, you know, hey, if you want like, like post about this here, do that if you want to. I mean, I don't know what you're doing. You might be doing something totally different that doesn't mesh with what this format is versus what yours is. I have no idea. I'm gonna look and see what you're doing because you want know, to see how you've grown in the in your uh, endeavors. Because it looks like you've gone from like uh, when you were on YouTube, you had like uh, five or something, I think, and now you got a thousand three hundred and thirty-three. Yeah, one thousand a thousand and thirty-three. 133,000, you said. Yes, yeah. 133,000. Yeah, yeah. So that's like a big difference from like 500. That's like, uh, whoa, you know. That's like you break your neck like straight up. That's a rocket soon there. And in like, what, two years? In like two years, I think. Yeah, I think. Yeah. That's a lot. Congratulations. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Congratulations on that. 
Uh, what type of content do you do? Scariest videos on the internet. Scariest ads that ever aired. Mm -hmm. Disturbing 911 calls. Interesting. Photos taken right before death. Okay, yeah, what happens with those? Do you see, like, ghosts and stuff? Do you see the people's spirit come out of their body? I mean, like that? I mean, have you... Has people seen that? Where they're, like, Grandpa's died and click. Hey, there he is, right over, over there standing in the, in the corner. He's like, his ghost, his spirits come out. But, yeah, I mean, speaking of spirits coming out, um, that's what the Mandela effect is. It's where you... It's where you're popped out of your body. I know it sounds weird. You're popped out of your body and you're saved. It's like a, it's like a video game. Your your avatar, you, the real you, is popped out. All your game points, all your memories, all your knowledge is like saved, and then history rewrites itself from the start all the way from the start to the beginning, and then you're put back in your body, and you go like, something's changed. Oh my gosh, Chick Fil A, it's changed. But the weird thing is, it happens to different people at, at different times. Because all in my friends ways. Say, in different ways too. Yeah. So that's the uh, enigma. In, I'm sorry, the enigma of it. Um, you know, but studying it and discovery is completely real it's not misremembering stuff it's all real and it's a sign of the end times that jesus christ is coming back soon um yeah and it's what i as a guardian we as a guardian guardians um doing telling people that the end times are here jesus is coming back you may have seen those uh, blue triangles in the sky right the blue triangles and blue squares over dallas you want to look it up there's a over dallas there was a large square in the sky a blue square in the sky you have your clouds like this okay your clouds and you have like a blue area like this and i've seen hexagons like this i've seen um triangles squares rectangles half circles um those two are those are a sign that jesus is coming back soon because you don't, you don't have pointed shapes you know not natural Okay, yeah, I've seen all those. Sometimes your spirit says, I've done a few spiritual videos, and Ghost and Staircase was the most popular. Unknown Creatures videos. Yeah, Unknown Creatures, the uh, cryptids, those are always interesting. The yeah, cryptids. Uh, one time I saw the, uh, and my mom too, we think we saw the Chippecabra uh, run across the road, is like, is gray in front of the car. It's like, whoa, what was that? It's like a gray, a gray like, dog with a long tail. We saw that uh, near my house. Okay. And then one time, uh, when my dad was away, I think he was away, he was like working late, uh, night shift, I was home alone, and, uh, well, I had my window open, window was open, okay, and suddenly there was this loud scream like a woman being knifed to death, it was like this, <sighs> and I'm like, whoa, wait, wait, that wasn't human, I get up, I close the window, close the blinds, turn the lights off, because I knew that was not human because hey guess what you could hear the branches across the road snapping the trees they're like cedar trees not cedars they were pine trees they're about that big around okay it's a tree farm okay they're about you know so big around and you can hear the branches and the trees snapping like snap 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 i'm like oh my god he was like scream ha ah! then that that snap 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 so you knew, I knew somebody wasn't playing a joke on me. You know, I knew, you know, good way to get shot. Um, you know, um, at three in the morning, they were not playing a joke on me. And they were, um, I didn't hear anybody motors start up or nothing. It was like, it was just like a loud blood clotting scream. So loud. And then branches start snapping. I'm like, oh my gosh. And then I, you know, it could be Bigfoot, right? And so then I, I, I watched uh, the uh, Bigfoot series um, on the uh, History Channel or whatever it was. Uh, finding Bigfoot, that was it, Finding Bigfoot. And they said, that's exactly what Bigfoot does. He uh, snaps branches and screams like a woman being knifed to death. It's like, yeah, that's what I heard. That was Bigfoot. So yeah, I believe in Bigfoot. I totally believe in Bigfoot. Bigfoot is real. I know that for sure. And in time, Prophet Dreams and Vision says, I'm minus three minutes for leave. Have a peaceful sleep. Blessings to all of you. Uh, hey, in. Um, okay. The code for the guardians to launch the missiles. Oh wait, wait, sorry. I'm just kidding. Um, Good night to you. End times. It's getting quite late here as well. Yeah, Billy W. Um, <laughs> yeah, people like me, and then I like cryptids. Cryptids are interesting. 
uh, you know, really interesting. Um, yeah, the uh, I saw a video one time where this person was driving down the on their bicycle down. They were crossing the, the road, and it's an oncoming truck. It like it was gonna hit them right, bam! But suddenly there's like a flash, and they were like over here, and the truck was over here, and they all got it. Like what just happened? It's like some sort of time jump or angel or something came and saved the guy from getting hit by his truck. There was a truck was suddenly over here, and he was like over here. And everybody's like going, "What just happened?" Yeah, I'm saying. And I've seen I've seen videos also where you have like a uh, it's a dash cam on a car, and the car is you know going forward. It's like out of nowhere, literally out of nowhere, a car swerves in front of and goes around. And it's like, what the heck just happened? Because you can see over here, there's no way a car could come anywhere out of any place because it's a wide angle camera. And it's like suddenly a car just, just comes out of nowhere. It's like, how? It's like it was, boom, there it is in reality. So I've seen a video like that too. Like that too. So yeah, a lot of odd stuff happening. And so, yeah, they were like, how'd that happen? There's like, no way that car could come in that angle away from, you know, like that. There's no, absolutely no way. So, uh, yeah, it's a lot of strange stuff happening. So do you, um, do you go and, and see these, do you go on ghost hunts or is it like, what are you doing? I mean, because I know that ghost hunting was like at one time popular. I mean, they have these devices where they, Go out and they, I mean, this is like your necromancing, so don't go do it. Uh, but they go like this called uh, EVP, electron, electronic voice um, phenomena. Where they have like a tape recorder, uh, a recorder, and they go like, Is anybody here? Can anybody hear me? And they go like, You might have your head, headphones on too, and they can go, Oh, wait, I heard something. Oh my gosh. And they play it back, it's like, Yes. I heard that yeah, stuff. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I heard that. Uh, supposedly real. I've actually made some devices uh, that um, people uh, like. I, I got like a uh, electronic place that I, I can I make. Uh, I make sensors, okay, and uh, advanced sensors. Uh, you know, that some people might want, and they're not for ghost hunting. But someone did say, well, we're ghost hunters. We don't want your sensor. I'm like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Yeah, I'm not going to discriminate and go sell to them because if you don't sell them, that's discrimination. So we sold them. And they said it worked. The sensor did pick up what they wanted to pick up. I'm like, oh my gosh. Um, but yeah, it did pick up something. So yeah, I made a sensor that has picked up a yeah, ghost before, apparently. Um, that's not what they're for. They're for a uh, for sensing earthquakes and other stuff and uh, electromagnetism. But so yeah, they, there is. I know about the EVPs. Uh, I was like, what? What do you want to do? Oh my gosh! Is that, what is that? Is that? Yeah. Oh my gosh! Wow. Yeah, that sounds interesting. But uh, yeah, don't do that because it's like necromancy. You're talking with the dead. Uh, Bible for, forbids that. But yeah, it's it's a real phenomenon. It's real. Uh, so I acknowledge that it's real. I I know it's real. I, yeah, I know about it. No, it's real. Um, but it's not something to play around with. And by the way, they're not the they're, they're not the, like grandpa. Grandpa, you here? Grandpa. Grandpa, yes, that's my son. I'm here. Yeah, that's not Grandpa. It's not Grandpa. It's, it's a uh, it's a demon. It's a familiar spirit. That's what these ghosts are. They're familiar spirits. They're not your dear departed because to be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord. So uh, it's not your grandma. It's not your mother. It's not your. It's not an aunt, uncle. It's not. Yeah, it's not them. It's a. Uh, it's not them. It's not. It's not that. It's not your grandfather. Whatever talking to you. It's a spirit. It's a evil spirit. It's a demon. But yeah, it's real. It's real. I know it's real. I've like uh, I made a device and picked it up and sold it to someone. I didn't do it myself. I didn't. I didn't test it myself. But they tested it. It worked. I'm like, wow. Oh my gosh. It's not the intended purpose. Uh, it's an earthquake sensor. You know. Yeah. It apparently worked. Um, yeah. Yeah. I was like, hey, you made it too good. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, it worked. It's not supposed to do that. Um, I've never heard a, a voice on it. Before you know, that's not what it's for. Um, but yeah, you know, how it works. Um, that's scary. <laughs> anyway, but you know, we can't discriminate. You got to sell to whoever wants to buy from you. So hey, you know, we can say, well, you're telling ghosts we can't sell to you. Ooh, it's like uh, discrimination or something. Yeah, so we sold it to them. Uh, you know, 
And there you go. You do, you but the disclaimer it may not work. Uh, oh, we, yeah, I told him it may not do what you want to do, you know, but yeah, well, you know, you want to buy it, sure, that's fine, you know. I said, yeah, that's if it works. Yeah, it worked. Yeah, amazing. Um, I did watch some ghost thing videos at one time on on TV. You know, it's like that's strange, and you know, you heard the heard the, the supposed recordings of it. So, yeah, and apparently, because I, I watched that because they because someone was doing that with the equipment that I sold them. So I'm like, well, what is this stuff? I want to see what this is. And so yeah, it's like, oh my gosh, yeah, it's real. As they said, it worked. So yeah, spirits are real. So. Anybody out there wanted to know about spirits are real? Yeah, they're real. Jesus Christ is real too. I mean, you know, he's the son of God. He came to earth and died on the cross for uh, your sins and my sins. And uh, uh, God, uh, God sent him down to take our place in death. And death is not the end. When you when you die, you come out of your body, and you have uh, one of two places to go. You can go to heaven, or you can go to hell. And it's not based on how good you were. It's based on what you did with Jesus Christ. Did you accept Jesus into your life? as your saviors it's simple like this you're standing for the judge and the judge has the power to put you in the fire squad okay because you've done bad and you have done bad and the judge says you've done bad you're going to die for your crimes and then suddenly the judge's son walks in and says hey um i'll take the punishment for him and the judge says okay son i'll do that and the gal comes down and, and the judge says to you hey you're free to go and you're like what has happened so you, you walk out the door and they don't stop you. You're like, you're free. You're free to go. Well, that's what God did with Jesus. He sent Jesus down on the cross for our sins. Took our place in death. We're free. And Jesus, you just have to accept it. The guy standing in front of the judge in the courtroom can say, well, I don't believe you, judge. I'm going to stay here and maybe I'll go to jail because yeah, it's, it's good to be true. I mean, even though your son just said, I'll take the punishment for you. And you agreed. I, I don't believe you. I think you're lying, in fact. Uh, okay. You want to go to the fire squad? Sure. Bang. You go to the fire squad. You're, you're, not, you're not leaving. Whoops. Uh, so, yeah. I mean, yeah, you can accept it or you can not accept it. So, yeah. It's, uh, Jesus Christ died on the cross in place, place of us. But, yeah. Anything you want to say, uh, FG? I was just listening. It's getting quite late here, so I, I might be calling it a night soon. Yeah. Yeah, me too. I need to fix my my dinner. But yeah, um, uh, Billy W. I'll, Billy Dot. I believe I will check out your videos uh, later on. And yeah, you should uh, send a link. Well, yeah, both yeah, take a look. Yeah. Yeah. I'll give, yeah. I don't think you can post a link in the. Um, you can post a link on the on the comments. Yeah, on the com that'll work. You post. Oh, thank you. you can post a link on the comments. So yeah, post a link. Post a link on your comment on the comments. The uh, when the stream finishes, and that way we can all easily go see what your videos are all about. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. yeah, that'll, that'll work. I mean, yeah. Yeah. Post a link in the comments below, and that'll work. Because there's you can't post them in a the chat. Because it, it won't it won't let you. You know, it's, it's there's no way I can I can make you available to do it. I can't I can't fix that. It's just the way the stream is. You can't post. Um. Like that, we can post in the comments when when the stream's over with, and that'll work. If you get word of the www, sometimes that works because then Maybe, it doesn't yeah. realize it's a link. Yeah. Sometimes keyword. Sometimes. Yeah. Now you can post links that are like um, like. Uh, HTTP colon slash instead of www dot, you know, it, it lets you do it. It is strange because I can type in a certain business name, just the name dot com, and it pops up that business, you know, for example, like Disney dot com or, um, you know, that, that'll pop them up immediately. We don't like it like w HTTP www dot, you know, mm -hmm. yeah. Like DreamWorks.com, one of my favorite movies, Rise of the Guardians. Yeah, I heard they were going to make a uh, sequel to that, but I'm not quite sure. Everybody keeps wanting a sequel to Rise of the Guardians, and I heard there's rumor of them actually going to make a sequel to it. And who knows, they might have already made it. I don't know because you know the Mandela effect. Um, but yeah, 
they made other they, they made other videos. I think movies. they already made a sequel to Rise of the Guardians. Did they? When was this? A few years ago. Really? Um, I mean, they, I think they had a two, Rise of the what, Guardians two. Was it? I haven't checked. Now, now, if there is a Rise of the Guardians two, in this reality, that can be a surprise to me, because um, in the reality where I came from, we were waiting on that still. And waiting and waiting and waiting. Okay, waiting and waiting. Yeah, if there's a Rise of the Guardians 2, I'm going to be like making a video um, <laughs> immediately. Hey, guess what? There's a Rise of the Guardians 2 again. So I said, yeah, that was made like, you know, five years ago, Jack. It's old news. No, it's not. It's new to me. It's just what happened. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. It's oh, no, I'm thinking of something. Uh, the Guardians of the Galaxy. That's what I was thinking of. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there's Guardians of the Galaxy. Yeah. That's a good movie, too. There's several sequels to that, which are all good also. Mm-hmm. Different I've never seen movie. either ones. I think it's a different movie company, right? Or is it? Uh, I'm not sure who made it. Isn't it Rise of the Gal Guardians made from Disney? No, Rise of the Guardians is DreamWorks. Rise of the I Guardians know, Guardians of the Galaxy is from Disney and Rise yeah, of the Guardians from... So. Yeah, Rise of the Guardians. They're very close DreamWorks. in names. Well, I don't know. DreamWorks and Disney, they don't sound the same, but there is... No, I said Rise of the Guardians and Guardians of the Galaxy. Yeah, they're similar. Yeah. But completely different. Yeah. One's furry, one's not. Um, well, you know, one's got a raccoon in it, and one doesn't. I saw the last one of the uh, Guardians of the Galaxy that... Uh, that Blue guy, I'm not sure of his name. Um, he's got that, that arrow stuff, that arrow that you can whistle and it goes like, you know, like that. Um, let's just say they used a lot of special effects. The uh, mm -hmm. the last one, I think, or the one before. Let's just say there's, there's a lot of, um, if, if you're playing Among Us and you want to get a lot of people, mm -hmm. yeah, you can get a lot of people. That He used it a lot in that in that film. So um, if you like that special effect, you will get your fill of it and more in, in that film. And, uh, I think the latest Guardians of the Galaxy sequel. And um, yeah, used it a lot. Yeah, a lot. Yeah, really. But it was a good movie. It was a good movie. I enjoyed it. Um, you know, don't ruin it for you or anybody who's like, well, seen it yet. I'm glad they don't have stuff like that because it'd be like, um, you know, like, so what do you want to say about, um, you know, you want your grade to be good, or do you not? Like, oh, whatever you want, just don't, just don't, just don't, just don't, you know, just, you know, just, okay, I'll accept, well, what do you want? Just take it, take it away, take it away, take it away. Yeah, that arrow, right, you know, right in your head, you know, you go, yeah, you know, you know whistle, and it's, you know, yeah, like in a movie, it'd be like bad. Um, you can do it like from a distance, you can be like, you can be like, you your feet away, and that thing goes, like, right there, like, like a, you look at you look at gun parts, it's like an arrow right there, you know, and you're, you're waiting to go in if you feel like you don't agree with whatever he wants. You know what I mean? You're, you're at gunpoint, three hundred feet away. You know, mm -hmm. like okay, whatever you want, just go mm -hmm. do it. You know, I'll pay you or whatever. You know, yeah, you know, whatever you want, it's all yours. Just take it away, take it away, take it away. Yeah, yeah. That was not in a movie, but hey, you know. So, was it a basically a bullet that cracks you? Yeah, that's it. You know, it's, it's automatic. You it's do like realize they exist. Oh, well, you, do they? Yes. Bullets that track you. Yes. Well, not like the, not like in the movie where the arrow goes like, or whatever the device he has in the... In the, in the, in the, in the wherever uh, he's pointing, that's where the arrow goes? Something like that, but it's more of like he's whistling a tone that, that controls it from something in, in his head. He's able to like mind control mm. the arrow by whistling, and it goes like... Technically, I don't think we have that yet. Well, but that yet. basically, they, well, we have bullets uh, that wherever you, if you say you're tracking a target and you fire and the target moves, as long as you're pointing towards the target, the bullet will follow the target. What kind of bullet is this? I mean, usually when you fire a bullet, it's like they um, have, bam, they have, they're, they're called dead. smart I mean, bullets. They, yeah. they, they, there's such a thing as smart bullets now. How far they travel? Uh, Miles several hundred or? feet. Uh, several hundred feet, I know. Well, I don't think how, how miles. Can something, how can something move? I mean, I guess it, I guess you don't have to worry it, about aiming. As long as you're aiming at the target and you fire, you can just keep aiming and it hits mm -hmm. it right. Yeah, like, yeah. yeah. 
Well, and then they said the nice thing about it, it was designed for the military where they could basically fire air and have it go swerve through a window, then swerve back towards the target. Can it do that? That's what was one of the reasons they designed it. Um, that's um, unusual. I don't know what kind of power source it uses because you got to stop the bullet, you got to turn around, and you well, got it's not. It's probably not going to move extremely far, but it's designed to move just enough so they can keep following the target. I'm not sure how much removability that this bullet actually has, but yeah, I've seen them. They was just under. Well, they came out with them, I think, like maybe eight years ago. Never heard of it. Yeah, it's not popular news. Wow. They more this instead of into that. So. Yeah, it was on the History Channel. Yeah. I like watching the History Channel. I've seen it before, too. Mm -hmm. I watched the ancient, ancient Aliens on there, and mm -hmm. I watched a lot of it. Interesting, all the different geostructures around the world. And they say, man was seated by aliens, and this gets rid of God. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, okay, then. Who made the aliens? It's like, oh, we didn't think that far away, did we? No, we didn't. Yeah, they thought they were getting rid of God because his aliens did it. Who mm -hmm. made the aliens? Uh, oops, that puts God back in the picture. But yeah, I don't, I don't believe in aliens, although I have seen a, uh, a UFO up close and it was real. Okay, I, you know, so it, um, they're demons, they're interdimensional beings. It was several years ago, it was like a, a really, really close encounter. And though I didn't get kidnapped because I ran inside and tried to contact it on the CB radio. Alien spacecraft, come in, come in. Shh. Hello, Shh. nothing. There was not a camera in the house at the time because my mom had hid the camera on that day, so of course. Um, okay, I got you. There's an update. Back in 2016, they they designed a smart bolt designed to go up to 6.2 miles. Well, that's not uh, good. I mean, for military, that's good, but not for like civilian. That's not good. And my grandmother, she was sitting there knitting her thing, and suddenly <laughs> came in the other window, and we thought maybe somebody shot over there, but then a second later, she was like knitting it. Bleh! Wait, look at how it came from that direction over that way, because it sounded like it came from that way, you know. Like, no, they, 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 st they started working on this back in 2008. Wow. So. Does it like do a U-turn? I mean, that's like... I, I, how gyros? I mean, this is like weird. I mean, how do you do that? I mean, I, I mean, is it, it's, it's smart, like powered by like remote control or senses automatically? I mean, this is like it is insane. Mm -hmm. It's quite complicated too. I guess it's rocket it's, powered. It's guess, like right? each. Well, I'm not sure. It looks like each bullet is like its own self-contained. It's like in the cartoons, bam, bam, yeah. It's like and then also you have yeah electromagnet bullets, which are even worse. Well, those do. Well, because just the fear, uh, the pure force and mass of them has a lot of the the mass and the velocity creates a massive force on the end of the bullet. Doesn't need explosives. It's like the least electromagnetic. Yeah, because it uses magnets to propel the bullet instead of having a combustion bullet. It uses magnets to basically shoot a lug at high speeds. That's unusual. Although, yeah, the um, magnet cannon. Mm hmm. But yeah, the, it was uh, basically an idea of trying to get rid yeah. of. Like chemical weapons. They really make it worse. Mm -hmm. now, there's no, now there's no. It's like. Now there's no sound. No more need for silencers. What's a silencer, Grandma? We don't know. <laughs> oh, we never heard of that. Well, I mean, they have laser weapons and they have microwave oh. weapons. 
which yeah. I remember watching that. They 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 used to show it on practical to tactical where they took military weapons and turned it into civilian usage. It's quite interesting. I know they got the. Uh, it's a hairball dish, and it can uh, when the beam hits you, you feel like your whole body's on fire. So I was just saying, mm -hmm. High frequency microwave around yep. 180, 180 gigahertz. Yeah, you saw the trucks, right? Yeah. That's for crowd control. Yeah. So, yeah, they've got that. And it was designed so you could pinpoint a single person out of the crowd. It's quite cool. Yeah. It's scary. Cool. Yeah, they have the directed, directed arrays. They can uh, phase it so you're like, yeah. anybody you want to with it. Mm -hmm. All the more reason for your tinfoil hat. Now you won't feel it on your head. It'll be like reflected off and hit the person next to you. What's wrong with you, Joe? You're weird. You thought I was weird wearing a stainful hat? No, you're acting really weird now. There's a little warm over here, but hey, you know what? Yeah, get that tinfoil hat going. Reflect it. Yes. I'll send you information on Discord. I, don't know. I should do that, but one person got banned for wearing a tinfoil hat for some odd reason. So it's like, ah. Uh, uh. I can't see it right now because um. I know. I, it's for later. So the original Rise of the Guardian came out during the 3D craze. Yeah. Did you see it in 3D? Uh, no, I didn't. I just saw it in uh, 1D. 3D you didn't see it in one day. I guarantee that. I know. <laughs> I saw it in 1D. I didn't see it in the theaters, actually, because I thought it. When, when I saw the trailer, I saw, I saw the trailer saying, it's coming from DreamWorks, Rise of the Guardians. I was like... No. No way. Uh -uh. I don't want to see that movie. I don't want to see it. So I didn't see it in theaters. Okay, I thought, well, got too much magic in it. It's like evil. Santa looks weird. It's like it's got the weird little Easter Bunny. It's like it's got Jack Frost in it. Um, and I don't want to see it. Um, and then I saw it on the uh, on the TV when it was like when it came on. Like for Christmas or Easter, it's like I'm bored stiff. I played mm -hmm. my games. I'm tired of my games. Let's see what's on TV. Rise of the Guardians. Huh. Okay. I might just eat my dinner and watch Rise of the Guardians. Let's see if I like it. I mean, I always turn it, right? You know, I'm like, yeah. Whoa. Oh my gosh. My gosh. That is amazing. I missed it in theaters. Ah. Yeah. That's how I, that's how it was. Mm -hmm. And so. Yeah, I'm glad they made the video game, Rise of the Guardians video game, um, for the Wii and for other platforms also, which is, like, really cool. Um, but then Zootopia came out, and they didn't make one video game for that. I'm like, I was like, I called people. Well, that was yeah, made yeah. by Disney. Yeah, Disney. Disney missed out big time. They, yeah. Disney could have made millions of dollars. Millions and millions. Hey, Disney, if you're watching, no. uh, or whoever you're, you know, Disney, right? Um, with your game developers. Um, you know? That um, Zootopia, the video game does not exist. So, um, they're too focused um, building their new uh, hotel in New York. Well, I don't know about that, but I just know that they, well, that was back when Zootopia came out that they didn't make a Zootopia video game that everybody would have bought. They would have made millions of dollars on it. I would have bought it. I would have bought two of them, one to keep one to save away in case the disc got scratched or something. I'd be like, oh, no, my, well, I've got one, got one. Yeah, you know, the back of this. The Wii or for some other platform, um, other, and yeah, I would have like this would be fun to play. Yeah, Zootopia. I've, I've called GameStop. Have you got Zootopia the video game? And they're like, uh, let's check. No, no. In fact, we never heard of it. It's like what? So yeah, I mean, I was calling places trying to find the Zootopia video game that doesn't exist. I was like, I want it so badly.
Maybe they're waiting for a Zootopia 2. They might. They might do Zootopia. Well, there is talk of Zootopia 2 coming out, which I'll watch too. And maybe they'll do a video game with that. As long as they're not just a cheap knockoff game that's like, you know, worthless. I want to have like a story to it. I want to be able to go through it. and like they're amazing. Do tasks and find stuff and interact with different characters and maybe have a option for like real life play, but should be also play where you can just play by yourself too. Like on the Wii or something or the um, 3DS or like the um, PS or something, whatever it is, like one of those yet. They have a Zootopia or, chess set. Oh, I'm just yeah. telling you. It's not quite the same. Well, look, okay, it looks not like I like a shadow or something. Like they use. Oh, in, that's neat. Yeah, plugs in the, in the USB port. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, it lights up, you can turn it in colors. Walmart's got them for like $9 a piece. So I got like three of them, so I can like. Are they bright? Mm, well, wait, would I have done that if they were bright? No. I wouldn't have done that. <laughs> yeah. No. But, uh, stay away. Um, they're like, um, how can I say how bright they are? Hey, I don't know if you read this or not. So you can read, read that. Mm. Maybe. Well, you do realize you have a filter on. You should be able to read through the filter. I bet you must. <laughs> you can see you can see the words. It's not really. It's like a. The brightness I'd say is it would be like as if you have three candles uh, lit right there. That's about the brightness. You know, at this distance is like three candles. Okay, that's three the brightness. Room. Yeah, maybe three or four candles. That's about the brightness right here. Of course, it's long, so you get more than that. I'm saying trying to say the brightness is like three candles at this distance there. So that's pretty good. I'm sure it's not three lumen. Well, you know, it's right after. But maybe, maybe three hundred lumen. Maybe. I uh, know. I'm thinking a lumen is the same as can candela, or which, yes, which is I'm another. Ah, uh, why? Okay, let's see. Um, turning on this one. Oh my gosh, it's flashing. It's turning. That's the wrong color, though. Really. Let's see if I can compare it to the. It's, got, it's, it's blue. It's still white. Um. I can't really say. I can't compare it to the brightness of my computer screen. Now it's off. Oh gosh. On, on, on. Um, I turned it down some, and my laptop is about this bright, I guess. Right here. Mm -hmm. So actually, you do have. Looks like there's a Zootopia more. Burger game. A what? A Zootopia burger game. Yeah, it's not what we want. Not, <laughs> not what you're looking for. Uh, With microtransactions. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Gets better yet, yeah, right? Yeah, there's, there's just games on DVRs that you can play. Once mm -hmm. you watch the movie, you have a little controller. <laughs> I can't play the game. All right. And it's like really clunky. And you're like, what's happening? And it goes, like a game on your DVR system. Yeah, that's, they're, they're the worst. They are the worst. There, there was a, uh, I think it was a Rise of the Guardians game like that too. Might you have realize there are so many much better video games on your iPad. You should literally look at some of the actual good video games on your iPad. Yeah, I should. That you can um, get. But I like the DVD game. Just kidding. You're the worst. You're the worst. You're the worst. There was a Rise of the Guardians DVD game. It was like, oh my gosh, this is terrible. And then there was like a, uh, there was like an Over the Hedge. Yeah, there was an Over the Hedge game also, DV, uh, DVD game. I'm like, are you kidding me? This is terrible. You know what? Game, I'll play the over the hedge version of it. Uh, let's see if you got some of the whoa. Find the over the hedge version yeah. right there. You can see the maze. Oh, so it's basically a mage style. You have yeah. to. I'll see how it does when I play it. 
complete live stream. And let's see, is uh, Twinkles here? Oh, hey, Twinkles, welcome back. Hey, welcome back. I'm not sure why you've been waiting here because I've been like this far away. Like I, I guess you didn't starve from don't starve. Uh, I'm on my laptop now. Does it sound better? Oh, oh, you sound yes, a lot better. It does. It's a lot better. A whole lot better. A lot louder, too. I can hear myself as an echo. I can hear myself. Yeah, there very slightly, but not very badly. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody complains about echoes as long as they don't, like, you know, mess up. I don't care about them. It's like, yeah, that's interesting. When it gets loud, it's like, I can't concentrate on hearing myself talk, but it's not like that. I did a video call on YouTube once with someone, and it's like got longer and longer and longer and longer. Say hello. I guess Captain Cuddles was done with you. Mm -hmm. What's new, Twinkles? Not too much. Not too much. I put my violin away for the night, so. You put your violin away for the night? Yeah. Yeah, you gotta be careful that it might. Uh, I'd, I'd be really super careful with that thing. Because um, it might turn to a guitar and wake, wake up and go, oh, the guitar I got yesterday was <laughs> just blue. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then next oh. will be a flute. Oh, no, no, I, oh yeah. I see this, yeah, you know. But you look, like, oh, Mom, Dad, um, <laughs> didn't, didn't I, you get me a, a violin? No, you said no, you always wanted a guitar. Really and it's like, uh, electric guitar. I, I never wanted an electric guitar. Well, you always said I wanted an electric guitar. It's what you talk about all the time. I know, right? Then I want an electric violin. Yeah, I mean, well, that could happen. And then it will become a harp. Then tomorrow night we're making a video about Twinkles having an electric guitar. He's like, you know, <laughs> violin. It's like, uh, hey, it's blue too. And you go, wow. <laughs> like, but wasn't that a violin yesterday? Yeah. Mm -hmm. you know, yeah. Hey, next, don't forget, it's going to change colors too. <laughs> Yeah, you know, purple. Who knows, it might be purple or yeah. could be green. Who knows? Maybe, maybe it'll be hot pink. <laughs> it could be. That would be so weird. <laughs> Multicolored. I turned turn purple. Yeah. Literally. Is that yeah. a ukulele? Yes, yeah, a ukulele. Uh, yeah, I don't play those. Um, except I just did, didn't I? They lied. Okay, I don't. I don't play it actually. You liar! Uh, you lie every time in the video games, and now you're lying outside the video games. How are you ever supposed to trust you, Jack? Seriously, I, 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 I do play. I do play liar. As a music, I don't play. I don't play liar. Friends, liar. I play liar. Just kidding. I, I don't play liar. Next, your your pants will be on fire. Interesting. Yes, it is. Hey, thank you for coming back again, Twinkles. Yeah, yeah thanks for coming back. Yeah, glad to see you. How long were you waiting? Cause I well, hope you didn't like wait a long time. Cause I I really didn't see you there. You know. I got these bright lights on my face right here, so I couldn't see the screen exactly. He's being blinded by the light. Yeah. The princess has arrived. The princess has arrived. Anyone want to say anything? Oh, yeah. Well, wait, yeah. That doesn't count. Yeah, Twinkles, you want to say anything? Mm -hmm. uh, you came back for a reason, so I guess you want to say something, I guess. 
Mm -hmm. We're all looking forward to your words of wisdom <laughs> and insight. I feel like um, the popular people in the Mandela Effect community are Pharisees. So you're a Pharisee now, Kat? No, I'm not that popular. You are popular, at least in our group. You are <laughs> quite popular. So you're now claiming to be Pharisee. No, I see, no. I see. I think, I think people like EYA and Washington Jackson are Pharisees. Yeah, UIA is how I found out about the Bible changes. You know, because I didn't know about the Bible could change. Because I thought, well, I think I prayed to God. You know, I was like, God, thank you that the Bible don't change. And thank you that you don't change. And all these, you know, secular changes like C-3PO and the movies. You know, all, you know, all that stuff about the movies changing. But I was really, really researching that. And, you know, then I saw this video pop up after one night. And it said, Bible changes, Mandela effect. I thought, troll, 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 troll. But I'm going to watch it and see. It's like, oh, my gosh, he's talking about the lion. And the wolf, and it's like, it's wolf now? It's always been lying. It's my favorite verse. Let me go to Isaiah 11, 6 and find that verse. And I'm like, oh my gosh, now it says wolf. She's right. Let me look at the bottles, wine skins. I know that verse by heart. Oh my gosh, it's changed. It's like, and then I went on a Bible video binge, watching her videos over and over and exhausting all the resources until it's like, whoa, I need, I need to like open my own Bible and search and find changes, which I did. And it's like, yeah, it's the... I found about out about the Mandela effect in the Bible, which I thought wasn't able to surely wouldn't be happening. I, I I told people earlier in my other video I made today, I said if you if you if you've all watched it, I said I said so you're gonna so like you're gonna criticize me about saying the Bible changes, uh, really? Well, don't you say the Bible itself says it's living and active, you know, like a you know able to cut through the marrow like a, a living active sword, and yet you don't say it can change. It's living, and if they want to criticize me for saying, no, you're wrong, it can't change. It's like, but you just said it was living. You know, so it's like, and it said it was living, right? And then the verse, so it's like, you want to criticize me for saying it can change? It's like a warning. Jesus is coming again. That's why it's changing. It's a warning. And so, yeah, they want to say, Bibles can't change, Jack. It's impossible. You evil blasphemer. But then the Bible itself says it's a living and alive and sharper than if you two edged sword is dividing a marrow. Oh yeah, all right. Yeah, it does say that. Uh, maybe, 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 maybe. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. But that's not what's you know. It's not why it's changing exactly. It's it's been it's the seal's been loose, and it's been permitted to change. Um, it is a famine for him. The words of the Lord, like in Amos eight eleven. Yeah, and it's um, signed all of us. Jesus is coming soon because if the Christians would notice what's happening with the Bible, oh my gosh, signs in the word. Maybe, oh my gosh, maybe Jesus is coming soon. And still they're like, nah, it can't change. I ran through people who say it can't change. They prove it and they go, no, it still can't change. You don't see the proof. It gets kind of like frustrating after a while. Have you all ran into that or not? Are any of you trying to get people to see? I had one good thing. I think I find, uh, convinced somebody not to take the mark of the beast. The yeah. I didn't even call it that. So I just listed out the facts of what everyone says about it, about what they say about their own stuff. And then just by giving out the detailed facts alone, it was just evidence enough of not to take it. Yeah, I mean, I've heard people dying. I take it, and one person mm -hmm. mentioned that uh, that they were um, their heart stopped. Some, someone I talked to earlier said this person's relative that their heart stopped. Well, how old are they? Well, they're twenty six. Their heart stopped. And they possibly got you know, no, for sure if they got the the world solution put into their veins. But he's going to find out if she did or not. But she didn't die. She's um. You pretty well, much the person to recover because they are like you know, kind of brain injured now because their heart stopped. So this person mm -hmm. needs prayers. So pray for this person to be well. Um, oh, I mean, it's easy uh, to kind of find out whether or not they took it. 
Yeah, they're sure they they did. But yeah, you know, they don't know for sure. If they say they, they died from the COVID virus, then they didn't take it. If they say they died from something else, then it was they took the shot. Yeah. That's a simple way of knowing. They're gonna find out if they did or not. So, but yeah, the person lived. But pray for them since they need uh, yeah healing. But at twenty six, you're living your, your heart stop is like not really normal, you know. Nope. Plus, it runs in the family. Yeah. So, Twinkles, what do you have to say? Topic. Uh, you put it on the spot. I thought she actually had something she wanted to say earlier, and I just didn't want her to feel like I can make it we're worse. not paying attention. Here we go, full screen. <laughs> right. Yeah, right there. Now you're all the center of attention. Uh, yes, uh, like I said, the Pharisee. Uh, <laughs> there you I are. Pharisee, I think. <coughs> See, the only person on this live stream is you. The the, the big spotlight I'm holding uh, on my shoulders now, just pointing it straight at you. <laughs> Why? Because I can. <laughs> <laughs> Why? 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 Because <laughs> I, I can. Dun dun dun. You need an icon. Who? Yeah. You. Me? Yeah, you need an icon. Well, if I put icon, then you'll put me on the center of the stage. Let's keep yeah, cat. <laughs> and then we have like. Uh... See, there we go. There go. The Pharisee's masterpiece. Like a slot machine. I mean, you know. Not sure which one's gonna land on. <laughs> there we go. What everybody um, eat today for um, dinner? I have leftovers. Yeah, what were they? Uh, I had leftovers from the library. Ooh. Bookworm, eh? <laughs> I'm getting a good read in while I eat. You know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So what, what was it like spaghetti or a burger or something uh the uh, salad and a small cut of prime rib yeah, that sounds good mm -hmm. i had a chick-fil-a deluxe sweet tea um and fries and then for breakfast i had what let's see no that was breakfast and for lunch i had uh not sure 
I didn't eat lunch yet. I had breakfast. But for supper I'm gonna, or dinner, I'm going to have a Sloppy Joe's. Maybe. So what did you have for dinner and breakfast and lunch, Twinkles? The audience is dying to know. Do you need me to get to the point? I should get the real song. Oh, wait, we're live streaming, so I shouldn't do that. Never mind. No, you can't. Yeah, I just remembered that would give us a copyright strike and all the other craziness of Alphabet. So you were saying about dinner, Cat. Was it that amazing that you don't want to tell us? Um, I skipped dinner. You do know that's unhealthy. They say actually if you don't eat enough, you'll gain mass. You'll gain mass from uneating. <laughs> it's not. I have it's lunch not. today. I mean. <laughs> so yeah, cartoon cat. Cartoon you cat. Cute. Yes, I like joy. Joy is good. So, what was your lunch then? Did you have a big lunch? Uh, I had some meat for lunch. Was it chicken, steak, pork? Beef. Beef? Mm -hmm. Now, was it hamburger? As, um, or it was, was it... Now, do you like it medium rare? Do you like it well done? Do you like it? <laughs> do you like it burnt to a crisp where it looks like a piece of charcoal and you throw it against the wall and it bounces back at you? Or do you like to chase it around the plate and kill? you stab it and it goes move? I'm more of the guy that likes to exercise to chase it around the plate and stab it and goes moo. I don't like it bouncing off the walls. What about you? Uh, I like it seasoned with a little garlic and a little salt and cooked. Mm -hmm. I do not char it to a crisp, no. No, I've removed too many nutrients. Exactly. And then you lo lose all the flavor as well. Mm -hmm. What do you think of the cat? I... What do you think of Joy? Joy was interesting to see. But where can Joy go? I don't know. He went down. He got tired of being right here on camera. 
It's quite interesting, the back screen. That's flickering all over the place. Yeah. So what's your detail level? Detail level. Seventy. Seventy. I thought I'd bring Joy on and nobody see him. This thing looks like as a uh, cartoon. <laughs> the Twinkles, what do you think about Joy? Yeah, so uh, Twinkles, what do you think about Joy? Your cat? Yeah, my cat. Did Your you cat is cute. Yeah, I saw him. He's cute. Yeah. 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 Like that. He's been he started meowing at my door. He's like, the door's closed, the door's closed, the door's closed, I can't get in here. I knew when I made a live stream, he'd be like right in my face up here and he'd be like over here and he'd be like in the way, you know, so I had to lock him out. Today we're gonna to talk about how the Antichrist will rule the meow. You hear meow, see he meow, see? He meow. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah, he's gonna come back up. Here. Don't forget, joy is more important than what you're doing currently. Right, Kat? <laughs> yes. Cats are more important than anything we do. Just ask them. They'll tell you. They'll definitely yeah. tell you. Their, their, their opinion matters the most. Just ask. And we all exist to serve them. Exactly. Yeah, we all exist to serve cats. We do. We do, yeah. And that's why uh, your logo is a cat, so we can all exist to make sure that you're happy. What? No. <laughs> like I said, you, you really outsmarted at everyone as the Pharisee. I'm and not don't forget, uh, don't forget, you're the secret killer always when it comes to Among Us. Always happily, yeah. joyfully killing us. Getting that very happily smile and goodly laugh. I murder everybody else. I don't murder my friends. Exactly. Like a good Pharisee. What? Yeah. <laughs> Let's Hey, at least I'm getting you the talk. That's the main main goal. Why do you think we put you up center stage? Because we like to hear you talk. <laughs> I wonder how long the Chanel situation is going to go on. As long as the Lord uh, wants it. It may be used as a tactic or it might be used as something else. You never know. And it might be designed to guide people in a different direction. You never know what the Lord is actually doing. He, he works in interesting and amazing ways. And sometimes you have to have bad things happen for good things to come out from them. I, as horrible as that is to say, that's how it works sometimes. Like, for example, the Titanic. Without the Titanic, we wouldn't have some of the regulations we have today. Maybe so, something bad. They said we could have had issues within the war. And, you know, there's actually a rumor going around the Titanic is actually... The movie itself was based off of time travel. Yeah, I'm not about that. That. What? Ladies first. Uh, that's interesting. What makes people think it's a time travel based movie? Well, if you, uh, Jack, have you heard that it was based off of time travel or no? I heard a rumor about it, but that's all I heard. Yes, but uh, if you look at the actual 
two main characters. That it says it has to do with pre preventing the U.S. from going into war too early due to the fact of where the U.S. ships would be in relatively relocation to the German warships. So the premise is that they went back in time to prevent a U.S. ship being too close to, to the military war. So that's why it was an acceptable loss of losing the ship that to prevent the U.S. from losing the war. Uh, so if you look at the movie, you'll find out the main character knows specific details of the events that are going to occur later in the movie. And if you look into the movie, you'll find out the actual secondary character supposedly never exists, even though you see him throughout the entire movie. And they say that he's a time traveler that left no trace of himself due to the fact. I don't remember the whole scenario, but basically he knew how to be in the right place at the right time. He stole a, uh, won the ticket through cheating, uh, basically cheating so that he could get on there, had no information on himself. Then he knew how to be in the right place at the right time. And he left some hints about future events of lakes that did not exist at that time, places that truly didn't exist at that time. And lo and behold, a few years later, those places exist because they were from the future. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That sounds interesting. Yeah, it's actually a lot of hidden details of how it's, if you didn't realize it, you would never even guess it's a sci-fi space movie. But if you look at all the other movies that the director has made, every other movie was a sci-fi based movie. This was the only one, quote unquote, that wasn't sci-fi. So it's actually odd for it not to be a sci-fi movie. But if you look into the details, then you find out, hey, look, it's a time travel movie. What's the name, what's the name of it exactly? Uh, the Titanic. Just the Titanic? Yep. The Titanic. You've never heard, seen the Titanic movie? Yeah, I saw that one. Yeah. I know it's a nice I didn't know it was a time travel movie, though. Yeah. Yep. It's, a, it's, it's hidden in plain sight. I have a good movie that's, uh, not a movie, but YouTube video that explains it if you're interested. So, Kat, what do you think? Maybe now she's going to link to that. Yeah, uh, I, I do think that's quite interesting. Um, if one of the characters was actually a time traveler... I mean, that might help explain some of the weird things that we're currently seeing going on in our timeline right now. Like, time is not currently right. Thanks for sure. He must freak you out, you know, waking up and then going back 15 minutes and discovering that your new present is suddenly changed into something you didn't, and that, and that wasn't. In some ways, that's probably a benefit, too. I mean, even though it must be odd, at least, I think you got almost 30 minutes back. Think about it. Yeah, you'd be, you'd be freaking out there. What are you about? Like, this is different. This is different. It's changed. It's changed. It's changed, right? I mean, you know, did it like freak you out or something? Or? How do you react to it? Instead of us guessing. You do know that's your cue. What was your... Yeah, what huh? was your first reaction? Yeah, what was your first reaction when you discovered that it had changed? Shock, disbelief, um, anger. Uh, 
Gotcha. Have you seen any other changes like your pets or your family or pictures on the wall or anything around your house that looks different to you yet? Um, or, just, or just the violin? Oh, I thought you were talking about when I first woke up. Ah. Uh, well, I was, but, you know, how, yeah, I asked that, you know, but yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, there, there was one night where I was trying to get to sleep. I was staring at this blank space on the wall, and then a picture randomly appeared in it. Hey, what did a fisher? A picture. A picture. A picture. What's the picture of? It was of my older brother and two other people I did not recognize, but no one else noticed. It, it, did it disappear, or is it still there today? No, no, it's, it's still there. Okay, so you were staring at a blank, a blank wall. And suddenly there's like a picture frame, a frame, frame photo or painting, whatever appears there on the wall. And like, that's always been there. It's like, uh, no one hasn't. And no one else noticed. Right? Yeah. Who, who are the other people though? Yeah, your, your bedroom wall. I mean, yeah. The only reason I'm asking is because if it's your bedroom wall, that means more personal to you than if it was in like a living room wall or your brother's room or understand um, what I'm saying? It was downstairs. Um I was I, I currently sleep with downstairs with Cookie because she's not allowed upstairs and she gets lonely at night. Um so so I'm I usually sleep on the couch and there there's a wall full of pictures, but there was one spot on the wall that was completely blank. And then a picture just randomly appeared and in, in front of me while I was staring at it. That's a uh, time jump. You've jumped to a different reality. Actually, it kind of feels like you were... Think about it. If it was empty, that means it was kind of like it was left empty for that picture. I couldn't hear you. Can you? I couldn't hear what you said. Well, think about it. If it was a little empty, it's kind of like it was left empty for that very picture that would happen on a different timeline. It's not like a blank space just magically appeared out of nowhere. It's a blank space was always there, but there was no picture there. So it was kind of like the, they left the blank space due to the fact there was a picture there from another timeline. Yeah. Which is kind of interesting. Makes you wonder which timeline was the original timeline. Yeah, if you got like pictures and like a square and there's like a center one or something. It appears. That'd be like weird. But who are the other people were like who who do the uh, who's, who's your parents say the other people are in, in that picture now? They're I like, did not I didn't ask them, so I probably should have. Is the picture still there now or is it gone yes. away? Yes, yes it's still there. Well ask them like you know, ask them who these people are. Are they like relatives, friends? I mean just say Mom, Dad, I see is that picture on the wall. I, I, you know, who, you know, these two people besides me or whoever, or who's in a picture, who are they? And see if they say, well, you know, they're friends of the family or or they like relatives or something. You'll be like, wait, don't remember Uncle Joe. We never, he's like, you to me. But yeah, I mean, yeah. And you can find out where the timeline deviated. Yeah, you can find who those people are. And, um, and does your family think, what does your family see the Mandela effects, or do you think you like? My family does not see them. Yeah, he's crazy. She sees things change. Um, yeah, I wish they could see. There, they know for sure. We yeah, ask them who those people are in the picture, and you know, and see what they say, and you know, that'll be interesting. How was your reaction this morning? 
How was your action this morning? So you uh, an extra 30 minutes. Well, 15, technically. Um, what do you want to roll 15? Well, I was lucky to have the, the little bit of extra time to get ready for work. Yeah, like I was thinking, it would be more of a blessing, it would feel like. So have you noticed anything other than the violin change today? No. Nothing yet, then. Wait, uh, that one thing you mentioned earlier about the person that had the opposite experience, what do you think happened? How do you think that plays in part? Oh, Eric? I don't yeah. know. Time went forward for him by two hours. Wow. Two whole hours? I yes. Mean, it's kind of hard to judge with forwards in time, but still, it's... He went back two hours? He went he, forward two hours. He went forward two hours. Yes. And the weird thing is, though, he, you don't see, like, yourself or something like this. There's two of me now. You know, like, you see these tra time travel moves. You, 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 like, if I was to go back right now, um, five minutes, I'd be like, oh, hey, Jack. Oh, oh, okay, don't disturb me. You're, I mean, whatever, we're like doing a video, as you already know, because you like came back five minutes in time. So, yeah, yeah, it wouldn't be like that. You didn't, it's like you get popped out and popped back in. So he got popped out and then the whole universe, everything rewrote history, and then uh, you know, everything was rewritten completely, changed, still small changes, some things have changed. So. And he um, gets popped back in. Two hours later than he should have been. Was it Whoops. around the same time frame? Yeah, about the same time, yeah. I mean, I was asking, was it around the same time frame? I honestly don't know. I didn't ask him. I was just curious because I'm curious if there was any correlation between the two experiences. Well, there might be. I mean, they both involve time going haywire. Exactly. Uh, it's pretty clear that something is tampering with time. I felt like time was going slower the other day. Which is technically not a time jump, more just time not moving at the normal speed or the normal rate. Yeah, I've had days like that where you feel like the, you look at the clock, it's like 9.30, and you think, well, I'll just keep searching stuff by and you look at the clock again, it's 9.45, not in an hour. Oh, it was an hour, and you keep searching again on the looking at stuff, and you think, I'm getting kind of tired. It's like, it must be 12 o'clock. No, it's like only only 10.30 now. What do you mean it's been 10, it's only 10.30? Oh my gosh, it's like time's going slow. I've had, I've, I've had days like that. Well, actually, it's not even just like that. I was doing something hectic and very time consuming. And something that I know should take a lot longer than the time for it that it was done with. Yeah, that's strange too. Exactly. Normally when something's frustrating and time consuming and you're doing it and you finish, you expect it to take a while, yeah. not only a couple of minutes. What were you doing? I, I was working on some stuff on my computer and I knew that it should take a lot longer than what it actually did. but. Yeah, that's all. I was just moving a lot slower than what I was feeling it should have. It was almost like I was in a reality distortion field where the time was just moving slower and within my little bubble comparatively to the outside world. Yeah. 
Which is actually a legit thing if you're within the correct, like, if you go in that, like, a certain area where you can, time could move slower for you than the time moving around you. Yeah, it happened to, like, myself and my mom. Because we were supposed to, she had to go to the doctor. It's like a uh, like a thirty minute drive, and we knew we didn't have enough time to make it because it's like well it's like, you know, we need to be there in like twenty minutes. Okay, we we, we got to be there, and then it's an hour drive. Yeah, and then we got there early. It's like how did we get there early? We got there in twenty minutes instead of thirty. I drove the speed limit too. I didn't speed. Okay, yeah, you know, I drive the speed limit. So technically speaking, it would not be able to make it there in you know 20 minutes it's always like 30 minutes there's no way you could do it in 20 minutes but we made it in 20 minutes on the same road no shortcuts no nothing so yeah it's just weird we was praying for god to help us get there so you know answer your prayer but you know. imagine you doing a 30 minute drive within 10 minutes yeah it's about what it was though almost it was like a 30 minute drive in 20 minutes we were yeah, close. No, I'm saying instead of it being 30, being a third of the time, so you could actually see what I'm, that that's more or less what it felt like. If yeah, it'd not be like being more or less like doing a 30 minute drive in five minutes. Yeah. Because if you did that drive in five minutes, I'm sure you'd have some questions. Well, you do it ten minutes. You have some questions too. Yeah, like, what happened? <laughs> yeah, exactly. twenty was like, whoa! It was like we got there in twenty minutes. When it's a three-minute drive, and it's not that the traffic was better or worse. Or whatever, you know, it's it, there's just the fact that the mileage. You know, you, you can't get there except in thirty minutes on a good traffic day. You know, when it's like no one is in front of you and you're able to drive the speed limit all the way, you still can't get there. Are you okay, Kat? Are you still there? Yeah, I'm I still don't. here. I, I'm I'm fine. For a second, I forgot we're on stream. Yeah, we are. Yeah, we're still live. Anyone watching or uh, communicating? No one's watching. And, um. There's no comments. Well, it is 212. Yeah. No, 112. For you guys. The stream's been running two hours and 36 minutes. Good hours morning to you both. Yeah, good morning. Hey, did you get chili today to eat for you guys? Or I mean, should I say? Did they, they eat chili today? Yesterday? Yesterday? It was yesterday no, I had chili. chili. Like cold. They had chili yesterday. They had chili yesterday. Not, not food wise. I'm actually talking about weather. Because it dropped 30 degrees in Bronson. Oh, wow. Today. It dropped 30 degrees today. Yeah. Wow, it's like cold. Yeah, it dropped from 90 some to 60 some. Yeah, that's a big drop there. I gotta do like a human experiment. I want you to like watch me. Okay, everybody watch me. Right now? Yeah, watch me. Everybody look look right now. You both watching? Not now. Not yet. Okay, you're watching, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, both watching. Yes. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Why are you doing that? I want okay. to see what I want to see what happens now. I want to see if I you know yell yawn or something. You know you can't resist it, can you? Now we oh. now we're gonna try the. <laughs> oh, that cat muted herself so she couldn't yawn on tape. See. So I'm assuming she did then, unless she says otherwise not. She's probably yelling, oh, "Make it stop! Please make it stop! Go! 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 Yawn! Yawn! Yeah. I told you to do a human experiment. <laughs> you do something evil. She does not want to be part of the human experiment. 
I don't want to see if it work. You know, I made my cat yawn. I mean, you eventually he'll, he'll yawn if you yawn really big in front of him. It's like, yes. You know, so well, I just want to see if I could make. <laughs> I'm still waiting. Yeah. Yeah. Keep that up, cat will leave. I know. Uh, Mr. President, I have one thing to say to you in this, in this very important meeting. Yes, uh, what do you want to say? <laughs> uh oh. <sighs> yeah, you know, I mean, starts yawning like crazy. My control of the humans is uncanny. It's just a special power I have. <laughs> okay. Wait, that's Sandy. Yeah, Sandman, who does that? They take his job. Don't tell the one. Yeah. That'd be a bad one. I wonder if Twinkles is yawning or not. We'll never know, right? She wants to confess. We'll never know. She. she... I'm thinking of something so evil right now. I'm thinking about you have a dog, and the dog is mm -hmm. it's a big jawed dog, and it's got TMJ, really cricks and pops. And you go like, watch this, everybody. And the dog goes, crick, pop, 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 crick. It's like, oh, oh, gross. Bad yeah. human, bad. Yeah, I know. That'd be awful. And you'd be like, oh, gross. That's disgusting. You made your dog yell, your jaws are popping. Yeah, and you're like, oh. Anyway, um, my mom said I wouldn't have friends to talk about stuff like that. So, hey, I guess she was wrong, right? <laughs> yeah, that you was wrong. Yeah. You go to church and say that, and you know, have people think you're weird. You know, you have your friends. Uh, but it's fun to think about, like, if your dog did that, it's yawning, yeah, yeah, yeah. whatever. Anyway. You got to have some fun in life. You know. Yeah, it's better to have some fun than none. Yeah. Um. Whoa. What? The filter. I'm faceless. That looks weird. Oh my gosh. I look like one of those Morlocks from that movie. So, what's your next filter? No filter? Yeah, that's creepy. Oh my gosh. Is that creepy looking? It's odd looking. Yeah, that's what I mean. It's a random, there's a question mark, and there's like a random filter. Probably not on the app as far as being able to do it. I mean, it's like probably some sort of special. That's weird. This reminds me of bad news print. You know, right here. Dark walls. Well, that's interesting. Yeah. I guess. What do you think of that? How's that look? Odd. Like a, like a line art, maybe. Like it's art. Well, I have no idea what that is. Oh, my gosh. Jack's creation. Uh, Looks interesting. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm oh, fine. Yeah, not a lava creature. I know that for sure. Fire! <sighs> yeah. My true furry form is like right here. Uh, maybe. Who knows? You know, right? That's neat. Hey, I got blue hair. Filter's not. Um, look, how, look at that snowflake turning real slow. That refresh rate so so bad. I'm moving my hands. Uh, yeah, it's like, wow, it's a slow refresh. Well, that's interesting. Crack, kind of. Not you. What? So I feel kind of cracked, like an egg. You're feeling. 
I think you might be having too much fun with those filters, Jack. Yeah, I know. Much fun. That's odd. Here you go, right here. This is the one. Yay! We're having like a, a psychedelic party. Woohoo! Yeah, all right. And blue. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. I have green. That was terrible. Yeah. Well, that's kind of interesting. Neon. Well, that's, oh, my gosh. That's like wild. Oh, you got to put this full screen. This is like really cool looking. Oh my gosh. And don't that look cool? I mean, it looks kind of different. It is definitely different. Yeah. Quite different. Yeah, filters are like fun. You know. And he wrote a book. Filters are fun. What's it about? Um, filters. That's different. That's golden. suspicious. And golden. Oh my! This is. I got my suntan. That was weird. Yeah. All right. I have no idea what filter is because you got the little question mark there. It's like you just push it, push it, push it. It brings up a random filter that's, and maybe random settings too. And one of one of the ones is already in there, so you don't know which filter it is to go into to find out what to make it look like this. Because if I push it again, it won't come back. Hmm. You know, maybe like another random one. I feel Californian. I don't know. Blinded. Oh, now that is weird. Hey, electricity. <laughs> right, yeah, right. <laughs> he jumps back. Yeah, some of these are pretty odd. Oh, that's kind of interesting. It's like a. Uh, okay. Filters. That's different. That's this like line across my face. Does it move when I put my hand there? That's just interactive. Look at that. Oh my gosh, it moves. I can move this this line that's on my face by doing this. Hey, a new video game. All right. Um, that is weird. From some Pacific island that's not mentioned or known yet. Yeah. I won't sleep in everything. It's terrifying. Yeah. That might be back to normal, right? Maybe. I'm not sure. It's kind of no, different. That's, not right. that's definitely different than what you were. No. You'll never be able to get it 100% right again. No. It'll all be slightly different. We are. No. Um. <sighs> Are we alone? 
Hope not. That's the question that mankind has always asked. Are you alone? That's different. Why is it different? The same. Same one. No, it's different. Special look is gone. Yes, yeah, different color too. Why? Who do I blame? Mm. You say you've been you've been playing with with this app too, right? Uh, not that much. Yeah. Uh, I mean, now, you, now, now you see what it can do. You know, it can be fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I've seen apps where like they can like age you and stuff. Make mm -hmm. you look like you're if you're like twenty one, you can look like you're fifty. I'm like, why? Why do I do that? Well if you're fifty, you can look twenty one. I haven't seen one like that though yet. That'd be like turn yourself to a baby, you know. Whoops. What does it do to a baby? Hell no, he disappears. <laughs> the mic's go, you know. Oh, there you are. Yeah, I'd be like. That looks different. It looks like. The colors are different, even. Hey, Jack, I think I'm going to call it a night around here. Yeah. Like it's I almost three eat. hours. Yeah, it's almost a three-hour stream. Oh, yeah, um, let's see. Well, I can't do that. I was going to say who the app, the app, app was made by. Um, let's see, but I don't have that information here. Um, oh, yeah, um, let's see. I remember it. It was like um, this engine. Uh, it's called I'm, I'm an Engine. That's what it was. I, I, I am a, and the word engine, I'm an engine. I'm my engine. Legacy. So that's what it is. And then I filmed through a camera on a screen over here. Here, here's like a, here. Here, I might have two hands eventually. Weird. There it is. Ah, hands after me. Yeah, all right. Spider attacks. Filming a TV screen, um, which is got the app picture on it, um, or the live stream. But I can record on this directly from it if I wanted to make a video. With I'm a I'm an engine legacy for your iPad. Be neat. Just Twinkles and and iPads or just computers? Uh, I know Twinkles has an iPhone and a laptop, but I don't know if she has an iPad. Yeah. I don't have an iPad now. Me do But you do have a drawing tablet. Yes, you do. That's good. Art is fun. Yeah, it is. But I'll let you go. Don't to, to keep you all. Mm -hmm. Um. So it was enjoyable and it's fun. It's always wonderful play. talking to you guys. And uh, thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, hit the bell, subscribe, like, and share. It's important that you share. If you like the video, share it. You know why just why just watch it and not share it? You gotta share it so others can enjoy it also. If you enjoyed it, share it. All right? And uh, come again. And everybody, thanks for watching. Uh, thank Twinkles and. FT for being here with me. Three hours. All right. And again, Twinkles, your violin was awesome. So yeah, I look forward to hearing more of that. So we're Thanks. getting the broadcast. And, uh, and thank you. Any, any last words? Before I end it. Before I end Have a nice broadcast. night. God bless you. Take care. And don't forget to pray. Everybody, yeah, everybody, don't forget to pray. It's important. 
Okay, now three, two. Good night. One and a half. One and a quarter. Uh, one.